morning guys, how are we going today? So, I've come ashore for sunrise because I wanted to spend sun up to sun down purely surviving off the island. So, I didn't bring any food, I didn't bring any water. Actually, that's a lie, I brought a little bit of water just because Keita's actually not going to be involved in this challenge, although she will indulge in the goods that I get. Yeah, so I'm going to spend the entire day just living off the island. So, you know, drinking the coconuts. If I want something to eat, I have to go for a spearfish in the reef in front of me. Um, I'll light a little fire and everything. I'm pretty, I'm pretty keen for it. It's not like a full-on survival challenge thing, because I will be having like spear guns and I'll have like a lighter and stuff, so it's kind of cheating. But, I don't know, I feel like it's still gonna be a bit of fun. I'm pretty keen because I feel like this island does have a lot. Uh, it's got a lot of things here, so I'm pretty excited for that. First thing on the agenda is breakfast, and those coconuts over there will do a treat. Doesn't get much fresher than that. Oh, I love coconuts. All right, now that I've drunk everything inside of it, I'm gonna open it up so I can get the nice fleshy part. I'm gonna see if I can cut this coconut in half with one slice. All right, ready? One, two. Oh. That did it, got all sandy though. Clean cut, one for you. One for me. Is that a good girl? Hmm? Never mind. This bit of coral that I found to scrape the flesh out. Nice. Amazing. Alright, mine's all pretty much gone. How you going over there, Kita? Sure, got heaps left. Alright, the plan now is I want to adventure to the other side of the island and just sort of see what's there. When I was flying the drone yesterday, it looked like there's some mangroves and stuff. So, that would be cool to check out. And then I've also got a tie strap onto the katana because it's kind of awkward to carry especially when I'm just holding it the entire time oh for those of you that are asking why I'm carrying a katana around and cut using it to cut shit is because I forgot my machete at home so and I had this as decoration on the boat and I figured I mean it's meant for cutting things might as well use it so now it's a machete well still technically a katana but I'm using it as a machete all right now I got the strap on it should be less awkward to carry oh yeah that's a vibe <laughs> all right well let's adventure to the other side of the island come on Kira let's go Bring the camera with me. All right, to get through some of this scrub, I might actually have to use a katana and slice my way through. where we're heading to. There's a bit of mangrove around, so I should be wary 
of any crocodiles. So Kita, you stay close to me. We're gonna head that way. Oh yeah? Whoa. Slushy sloshy. Alright now, just while we're here, I'm looking for any croc tracks. Kita, come here. Don't go too far. The tide seems to be pretty low at the moment. So, we might go check out that beach over there. Really pretty on this side actually. It's complete glass out. All right, I reckon I might go back now. Getting pretty hungry actually, so I might go back and go for a spearfish. Yeah, that sounds good, I'm gonna do that. There's so many of these little clam shells all over this beach. Look, one there, one there, one there. Oh, that one's pretty. Oh. Might take this one. Give it a wash. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this one. Oh my sunnies. Back through the jungle we go. Oh yeah, I'm lost. Akira, do you know the way? I'll follow you. If you guys don't see me again, it's because I was following Kita's track and she got lost, not me. Turns out, Kita totally knew the right way to go. Oh, the spider, fuck. Just as I said that, I literally went through the biggest spider web. Oh, the spider looked huge. Is it on me? Oh, that did not feel good. Oh. I'm using the GoPro as a spider web detector. Sorry, guys. There's the beach. We made it back in one piece. All right, I'm going to jump in the water now. Getting pretty hungry. It's about lunchtime. Be myself some lunch, maybe some dinner. I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna go on the water for an explore, and it is blue out there. <sighs> Golden lined rabbit fish. Now, I don't remember. Oh, I don't recommend getting these because I'm pretty sure they are venomous down here, and I don't know if these spikes are as well. But um, I've eaten these in the past, so I know how to like fill it right and everything, and I guess drain the poison. I don't know, something like that. But don't recommend getting them. Now, were there better choices? 
Definitely, but unfortunately, none of them were legal size. So, rabbit fish for dinner. While the fire is heating up, we've got the alfoil. Now, I didn't bring any spices. I feel like that's something I'm really gonna regret. But oh well. Look at that. Right. Perfect. All right, now we just gotta wait for that to cook. I made myself some coconut chips. They're not, they're just, it's just brown coconut. But I can't like chips. I suppose we just wait for that to cook now. Fun. I might open the. Oh, actually, um, I brought my fire stick ashore. So this camera, the Canon R5, has like super crispy slow motion. So I want to try use that when I'm doing like the big fiery thing. I feel like that would look cool. This is probably like 20 minutes away anyway, so. I'll get that together and show you the footage right now. too bad, which is good. Too happy that I left the boat. It's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, now for the long paddle back in so we don't disturb them. Peter, you're right in the way there. I'm back. Oh, sorry about. Sorry. I saw a little splash on the horizon. So I put the drone up, flew it over there, and it was like four manta rays just swimming around there. And I, was, I had to take advantage of that. Had to go swimming with them. So, got the dinghy, paddled out there as quickly as possible, and got in the water, and I got to swim with some. Whew. Incredible. But that means I did have to leave the fish in a very quick hurry, which, it looks like it's very much ready. All right, now for the taste test. Ba -da -ba -bum. Look, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's not the best tasting fish, but for just off the beach with no seasoning. Good. Yeah. 
Wanna get behind this? All right, guys. That about wraps up another episode. Appreciate you watching it. it means a lot to me. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I guess we'll see you guys for the next episode. Yo! <laughs>